CBS 17, your local election headquarters. Joe Biden's campaign says he will be at the next two debates as the organization overseeing them considers to change the format. Now, it follows the chaos that unfolded this week during Biden's first debate with President Trump. Our Capitol reporter, Michael Hyland, live first tonight in Raleigh with a closer look at how the campaigns are responding all this. And what are they telling you, Michael? Yeah, that first debate was unlike anything we've ever seen before. And now the Commission on Presidential Debates is considering whether to, they should make any changes to try to minimize the chaos. I talked to a spokesperson with the Biden campaign about it today. He didn't say if they were advocating for any specific changes. CBS reported one thing under consideration is to cut off their microphones if they break the rules, but nothing is certain. There was speculation soon after the first debate about whether the next two would even still happen. Biden's campaign says he will be there. There are opportunities for him to talk directly to the American people. Those were some of the most powerful moments on Tuesday night when he would turn uh, and, and address the American people directly, because that's what folks need in this moment of crisis. Ronna McDaniel, the head of the RNC, said today there should only be changes if the two campaigns agree to them. She went on to say the rules should not be changing once the debates have already started. President Trump also questioned today why he should agree to any changes. And a campaign advisor for the Trump campaign today said that, for the most part, the people on the commission are, quote, permanent swamp monsters. The next debate is two weeks from today, and it's a town hall-style debate. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.